uh, I am Maslin. I was also originally from Nigeria, but I went to school in the Caribbean. Uh, I have my bachelor's degree and master's degree in nurse and nurse practitioner. I did an MBA in healthcare management with uh, my medical school. I work as a nurse practitioner and I've been working as a nurse practitioner for 10 years in interventional pain and primary care. But uh, the CV as you, and personal statement, as you know, is the pivotal, is components of your residency application. And your CV can determine, your personal statement also can determine if you get an interview or not, yes, especially your CV. And the, the goal of preparing a strong CV and a well-done CV is starting early. The, if you start early, you will catch mistakes and you will be able to correct those mistakes. And if there is a gap in your CV that you need to fill that will make you a stronger candidate, is when you start early, you are able to figure out those gaps and fill them before you submit your application. So in my own case, I started in May. Uh, I did. I constructed the draft of my CV and my personal statement. I met with my mentor. Thank God. And I, because I have also my own ups and downs in residency journey. And thank God I was able to eventually join SATI. I joined SATI last year and that's when I knew about them. And with the help of, of my mentor this year, we are able to, I met with her the four, last week of May and I sent her my draft of my CV and personal statement. And uh, I remember on that meeting, she told me, Marcelina, you have a lot of experience and uh, your personal statement is, you're not selling yourself on the personal statement. I want you to rewrite it. I want you to give me your, their, your journey, your, um, your career journey. And that's what I did. I, rewrite, I rewrote my personal, state, my personal statement and my CV. In fact, you know, when you are an old graduate, you have wealth of knowledge that you have to fit in on that 10 Things, you know, which is what uh, Eras wants you to do right now. Ten experiences, that's it. But you have to fill those in because you can leave them out. So when you start early, you find out a way to set and put them in, which is what I did. And then I be uh, being able to do that and uh, being able to, you know, run send it back to my uh, mentor and yeah, and she was like, okay, Maslena, this looks good. You know, and then my personal step, I know my CV, she was like, I, I don't know how you're going to fit in your experiences, but I was able to do it because I started early. And when I sent it to her, she's like, oh, my gosh, you fit everything in. But the goal of that is like because I started early. I started early and I was able to find a way to fit all those experiences in, sell myself in my CV. And then my personal statement told my career journey. And I remember one of my interviewer was like Oh, I remember you. You are the one with a short CV, with the short step, personal statement, but I we were able to pick up everything we needed in that personal statement. So this you want to say yourself with that too. And the goal of that, like I said, start early, do your personal statement, do your CV, go over them, uh, proofread them, and send it to for corrections, uh, meet with your mentor, see what is missing, and then put that in. And by the time you finish doing all these things, you are coming up with strong personal statement and CV. And then Sati made it also easy that you can also submit this, your personal statement up to twice for them to go through it and see what is missing. So in my own case, my CV, like I was like, I'm going to apply for family medicine this year and uh, I have to. And what I did is like, within that period, I realized that, okay, I haven't, uh, my last uh, family medicine, um, a rotation was like a year ago. I need another one. So because I started early, I was able to de dictate that and I did. I scheduled it immediately and I was able to do that. And those people, when I finished with them, I did two weeks of um, uh, rotation with them. They were like, don't worry. We're gonna give you a strong uh, uh, recommendation later. And it's gonna be personalized to personal statement. And I needed two recommendation letters. Two of those physicians volunteered at the end of that and gave me that. It's because I started early. They were able to do that and send it in. And then I also add that to your personal CV as well. And this is the goal of doing that. Start early, work hard, start back. You can start in June, which is good. And then you can 
to take it and all the way prove it and they send it to Sadi, send the meeting with their mentor and see what is missing, see if there is any gap, fill it out as soon as possible. And why is it good, important to prepare your CV early? Is because during your uh, program outreach, which is also important, which has helped me secure interviews this year, is that you start back in June and start your outreach later. And that outreach letter, you have to highlight the points. What you are asking this in PD, am I a good fit for your program? Because I want to be trending your program. And then your CV, you have to attach your CV in that uh, outreach letter. And uh, so if you don't prepare your CV before you send the outreach letter, so you are still sending, you are still started. So when you send it back in June with your CV and send it again in August with your CV, they already know about you. Like one of my colleagues said, Dr. Sarah said, the first week of the application, you submit the application, I promise you, you are, you are highly likely to get an interview invitation because they know a lot of things about you already. So start early, proofread, and meet with your mentor, send it to Sati, and and attach it to your personal uh, to your outreach letters, and that's uh, my advice to you people. And this is what has helped me this season. Thanks to Sati. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that video provided valuable insights for your journey. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. And check out our website for details on how we can guide you to a successful match.